Welcome to the 100th Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast episode. None of this is made possible without our amazing production team. Brandon Bruno is the unsung hero from pre-production all the way to post-production, from setting up the lights, the cameras, filming, editing, and posting. This really has been his brainchild. To Madison Schweitzer and Kevin Diaz for setting up our guest and sitting in the room as our test audience, keeping us on point with great questions and feedback so each episode is interesting and enjoyable for you. Thank you for being a part of the Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast. We are on a mission. A mission to save and revitalize independent pharmacy. On the Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast, you will get actionable business advice, hear stories from industry leaders, and share a laugh with us. Fuel your passion for pharmacy one conversation at a time. Welcome to Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast. This is the 100th episode. This is big. This is huge. I mean, we started this during the pandemic to make up for the missed conversations that we were having when we visit pharmacies or actually on the tree chill floor. But this one is extra special because our first ever guest that we actually brought in to kind of test out bringing a guest is Gina Groves, who is um, pharmacy tech numero uno that we ever hired to be and work and pioneer support, pioneer support. And so I, I went back, I asked the team to kind of pull together our podcast stats. And actually this is kind of a really big one. We have an entire audience in this episode, in this watching us right now. So I keep looking this way at everyone that's watching us and it's weird for me. Um, and then we, and so, yeah, I'm chattering now. Jeff kind of take over, jump crowd. in any like, moment. Well, I, we have a no, crowd. No, you're doing really so well. You're just gonna going. Be... I was, I was sitting out here, you know, my memory's <laughs> horrible. You know, Gina didn't start off with us as a Groves, right? She started Car- off as Carcello. a Scarcello. Yes, Scarcello. Yep. Yes. Very good. I'm so proud of you guys for but remembering the, that. That was, yeah, I still, they're both in my deal and yeah. I have to really think about which one I send it to. <laughs> um, but that was, what year did, what year did y'all get married? We got married in 2015. Yeah. So, and you started with us in 2008. 2008. Eight, mm-hmm. Right. Yep. So, because it was our first Pioneer Pharmacy went in, and she was going with me on the weekly visits to that one. And then we'd put in our second pharmacy. And so, me and you would make that road trip. We would. Yep. We would do uh, mom and pops and a uh, country drug, mm-hmm. out Spring Hill and in Vivian. Vivian. Yep. yep. We did. We made a lot of trips like that. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. So, and I listened to that episode. We're not going to recap all of it because we, that one, we kind of covered like, you know, how you got started with the company, your interview. Um, so that if you'd you tried like to, to know skip those, rewatch it. Yep. It's act, it's episode number two. Um, and then of course the other episode, Jeff's not going to want to hear about it, but I've just got to go ahead. It was a lot of pandemic talk because it was August, um, August 12th, 2020 when that episode aired. Okay. And so I think it was actually called Scratch and Sniff Test. Yes, we did. We did. We <laughs> because it had the, the Scratch and Sniff stickers yes. on it. And y'all talked a lot about it. Well, what's an alternative to sticking a Q-tip up and collecting brain matter for a COVID or a brain <laughs> test? It does feel that's like it goes it that far like. up there, doesn't it? Wow, that does feel like that's been forever. <laughs> yes. So um, let's go ahead and cover and get out of the way the fun stuff. So... History of the podcast. So our podcast, we have over 64,000 plays on the audio platforms. That's a lot. And we've been doing this since July 2020, August 2020. Oh, this is a fun fact. So our list, so we have actually listeners in Canada, Germany, and Australia. Wow. That's so, so cool. That's, that's a real fun reach. That's pretty wild. Like I have a German sister-in-law and I... Like her English has gotten so much better over the years. We've tried to go to Germany, what, twice? Yes, because there was a, a marketing conference and there. Got and got COVID. Like, yeah, I got COVID yeah, shut it down. a huge marketing conference there. So, Gina, you've seen a lot of changes um, since you got here. I guess you were employee, what, do you know? Oh, well. On the Pioneer side? On the Pioneer side, not counting developers. So, I think, what, there was a group of. Well, you were the like, there was first like support, roughly 20. Pioneer. Maybe 20 people? Yeah, there was... Not I mean, talking when, to prison you, people. Well, I'm talking about, like, in in our little building on the Morrison-Dixon campus a long, long time ago, it was two floors, and on the first floor was, like, 
eight support people. Yeah. And then up top, you had about 12 developers. And then in the warehouse, you had like three hardware support and Her two memory. installers. She's, it's crazy. And although all I can say, she said a long time ago, I'll do this, see these scrolling words and <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I actually saw a TikTok video on dun, how that was done. It's kind of interesting. They basically just pointed a camera down at the screen that ran up. So, anyways, I yeah, she can tell what people were wearing most I know. times. Remember, I had, it's it's mind boggling. It is mind boggling. I'm very impressed. Yeah. So there weren't many of there us. wasn't many. Yeah, but like when Pioneer was. Going into its first pharmacy, we were looking for a person that was going to manage the support, and you were the first. Right. Yep. yep. So, technically, on the Pioneer side of things, we can count the developers that all went on the install and that put into place. Yeah, I'm with you. We don't count the the Prism people, even though some of them are still here and doing different jobs. Yep. And and call routing. <laughs> yep. High, high technology call routing. We had a receptionist, <laughs> and she looked out to see who was off the phone. Oh, not on the phone. We yeah, had it was little a light blinkies. Yeah, no, hold on, little, hold on. It wasn't a platform. Red. It was just a deal. No, no, no. <laughs> you built a platform. The, I'm, that telling, the, said I'm telling the story. <laughs> so so first we had a, a receptionist, and the receptionist looked around to see who was on the phone. I just got told. <laughs> then it got hard to figure out who was on the phone, so we made little lights around. And then you added people, so it got hard to see everybody. So we built a platform and raised the receptionist up. So it's easy to see out over the people and see who's there. So so the platform was part of the growth. Okay. It wasn't what that we did That was the, the second phase. Yep. Okay. Um, so then we had two receptionists on there. Yeah. Keep up with it. So yep. we, we grew. And then we grew out of that room. And we had to, to build Add in some into, programming mm -hmm. and support the ability to see who was on the phone and who was not on the yep. phone. Yep. yep. So tell us about your journey through there. Um, what, all, what all have you done? So I started out with, actually I started out as Prism Support, so our legacy uh, software. Um, and the reason why I fit into that role to begin with is because I'd worked at a pharmacy that uh, used Prism. So I'd worked on Prism for four years before that. And boy, did I think I knew everything. Um, but I quickly, it was very humbling, right? So you get in, you think you're a rock star and... You realize there's so much so you don't much. see and you Absolutely. don't know. That you don't touch. Right. You don't touch it. Um, mm -hmm. And so it was It was a huge learning curve for me um, and learning all of the different things that um, com community pharmacies do and um, just the varying things that they need. Um, so that was interesting. But then in the background, Pioneer was being built. And um, like Marcia said, whenever we uh, went live with our first uh, – beta location, if that's what we would call it. Mm -hmm. um, we went out and we were on site and kind of running parallel with yep. them in the back room yep. doing data entry and just seeing how everything flowed and making sure that everything worked well. Yeah, we would convert them every night mm -hmm. to Pioneer. And then we would work the same day they were working in Prism. We would work that yep. in the in back. The background like we had our own background. little pharmacy. So we mm -hmm. were playing house. We were entering scripts and, yep. and we were do, and Add, adding new patients and getting, and, uh, and we would, we would run up to the front and say, what does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd run back, we'd run up and say, how would you do this? Yeah. And, and periodically they got slow. We would show them. Uh, different things and different progress. Uh, but we made things efficient because we had to do their day's work in the system before we left. Yep. Um, yep. And that was, that was interesting, right? Because you kind of see how that transition and, and for me seeing that life cycle and understanding what it's like for a pharmacy to convert mm -hmm. and go onto another system, I think was really important in understanding what that looks like for a pharmacy, yeah. because then you understand what those pain points are and you mm -hmm. start to realize you know, this is probably going to happen with every conversion, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the tech who worked there still works for us? She does. Amanda yes, Amanda. Amanda yeah. Terry still works for us. Uh, well, she, she started working for us. Amanda, please don't be mad at me that I don't remember, but um, she's been with us for several years now. Um, so, uh, so does yeah. that make Amanda technically Pioneer use um, tech number two, even though she didn't actually start with us? But she was one of the first pharmacy techs to put her hands on Pioneer. Yeah. I don't know. I think Maybe so. so. I think I'm, so. I'm going to give her that credit. Yeah. I'm going to give her that credit. Number two, Amanda, looking at you. 
<laughs> All right. So, so you started working there in Pioneer. Yep. Um, so, um, you know, we grew, we, I think that we did a really good job of, um, rolling out slowly. Right. So yep. mm-hmm. we built very personal relationships with the, um, pharmacies that we installed. Um, and if I see those, those pharmacies today, you know, we would know one another and, and have a conversation. Yep. Um, so I, I really did appreciate being able to see that. And it gave me, you know, as we continue to grow and, you know, mm-hmm. you, you maintain that type of relationship or you try to. Um, and I think that, that, that really did help solidify that relationship with yeah. support and our customers. Yeah, and we had our theory back then and, and, and we were, you know, we were showing it at the Morrison Dixon show and we were kind of previewing it and, and kind of lining up people who wanted to do it. But we told them, Hey, get in line, but we're going to thrill this person first. And when we're done thrilling them and solving all their problems and we're going to come to you. And when we get to you, you're going to be glad we have that philosophy because we're not going to leave you yeah. until you're thrilled. Right. Um, and then we moved on to um, dinner and demos and um, getting people onboarded. And like you said, creating that that log of people that we were going to thrill them and go, hey, we're going to get you in line so you can be in the first 100. But um, so one of my favorite things about since being with Pioneer, and you've got your own story of this, <laughs> is actually visiting some farm. Actually, we still visit the pharmacies. Mm-hmm. And we, um, I don't. I, I, the pharmacy was in North Carolina and my variation of this story is that, uh, we were there to work with that pharmacy on enhancing the ability with allergies. So instead of just saying yes or no, being able to say yes, but how bad is that allergy Mm, and sitting in on that design session right? because I, my nephew had recently gotten the flu little time, just a toddler at the time. And when he was given Tamiflu, gave him a rash all over his little body. And so it's like, okay, he can have Tamiflu, but hey, let's think about maybe some Benadryl to go with it or something. Right. But it's not a, hey, he gets it, he's going to die. Kind right. Of. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's not It's not life or yeah. death allergy. I remember programming that. I don't remember the store we went to. That pharmacy. Yeah, I, I remember the pharmacy. Huh. Um, was it Josh? Nope. Remember? No. no. Um, it, was, um, she, it was in North Carolina. Uh, her pharmacy closed oh yeah i remember I, now you got it okay well i can picture her but uh yeah she was amazing i'm mm-hmm. sad i don't see her anymore um but your variation of the story of what you had a hand in designing and and being a part of was bob lomanac oh yeah and medsync mm-hmm. yep. so walk walk our viewers and listeners through that yeah so um i think bob pretty much hit our radar because he was using MedSync and this was probably in the earlier stages of um, having the MedSync program. Did right? you go to Marisource? Um, this past? Yeah. No, I did not. Mm. No. Bob was there. He was. Yes. yes. Yeah. And he's always there. Right. And mm-hmm. and I got to meet his daughter. His daughter's kind of following in, in his. Following the footsteps. Yep. yep. Um, and so, you know, going on location and we went to his pharmacy. We stood back and just watched them do what they do. And from that, we were able to identify some of the pain points that they were encountering and, and um, get them I, completely paperless. Right, right. And that's the that's the thing is that we, we wanted them to solely use Pioneer and be able to to rely on it um, mm-hmm. completely. Um, and I think that we we went away from that visit. We made some changes to the print queue, some color changes Came to back. help. Yep. yep. Um, Came back, made changes. And Bob was changes. like, we just need to tell them to stop using the paper. And I was like, Bob, when the paper gets in their way, yeah. they'll stop using it. That's true. So let's get, you know, we just need to stand back and keep watching mm-hmm. and see what are they using. You know, what is the security what, blanket what is there? The, what's the, sec- yeah, what's yeah. the, what the, the safety what's the security blanket? blanket? Yep. Um, and so I think that that, and that's so important, right? Like whenever we go on those visits, we, I think we pretty much always have something that we come away with whenever we talk to yep. the, to our customers. Um and and now where I am as as product manager um, and working in that role and looking back, I, I really see how all of those pieces, you know, fit together and, mm-hmm. and how important that part is, especially now. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, before in the support role, what I would do is 
primarily, you know, hey, here's what we have in the system. Here's what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. This is what you should be using. Right. Whereas now, you know, it's more of what are we trying to achieve and really digging super deep into, you know, what the root problem is. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's... um, it's kind of full circle for me, I think, um, and it's it's really just my transition through what so you just all kind I've of done. bumped the tease that you're doing product management now. But let's well, hang on. Up. Hang Sorry. On. <laughs> yep. Before we get too far into you know we what like you're went doing to a commercial now. and showed a oh. showed a scenes from the future. Okay, so we've got ours. What is yours? Just how often you know you get you know first thing you have is you people people tell you what they want rather than what they're trying to do. They say. Uh, we want a button right here. Then when I click, it does blank, right? right? And that doesn't help you because right. because that's right. all they've thought about how they would work around whatever's that's their going solution, on. Right? That's their solution. And so what you really have to do is you have to figure really dig in and problem. figure out what's the business problem you're trying to solve. Because right. there may be a whole, you shouldn't be on this page anyway, right? This should be hard, but we should be doing this for you. Then you're going to go in and you're going to try to design how you do that. And by trying to think about, well, how do we do it in other places? right? What's similar to here? What's going to be somebody's expectation, right? Then you're going to draw something out and kind of simulate it. And and Gina's been drawing these. And and then you're going to look at it and you're going to say, oh, that was really dumb. Why do we do it that way? And you're going to flex it and do stuff. Then they're going to code it and you're going to look at it before it goes out and you're going to go, oh, that's weird. And you're going to fix something. And then after all that, you're going to visit the pharmacy and you're going to stand behind them while they're working on it. And you're going to go, why, why the heck them? are we making them do that? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it blows my mind every time that, and, and I remember I was at a mayor source and there was a lady talking about her complaints with one of our uh, competitors of, of Pioneer. And she said, they do everything to 85%. And then they stop, right? Uh, it, and, and, and when you talk about that, a lot of times you talk about it works on my computer. You'll hear developers say it works on my computer. Well, what that means is, yeah, you can, right? <laughs> if you turn three times, you hit here and you click here and you do the drop down, you do here. Well, but I mean, that's, that's, the, the, that's the thing that we found out early on when Pioneer went into its first beta pharmacy is that you gave me the compliment that I was finding a lot of the bugs because I was using it like a user. Because you're lazy. Yes, I'm a very tab tab <laughs> inner inner. Inner. You meet somebody it's good. like no, that. She's good lazy. She's good lazy. I, I like. I do not I was like. We like should to be every product we have. We should have her. Hey, Marsha's going to come work here a month. I don't. I don't like to do extra steps. It's like, why do I have to do? Why do I have to go around my derriere to get my to get to my elbow? It's right here. You know, as Josh, who's your boss now, uh, took over product management. He um, one of the things I was telling him is saying, what everybody else does is stop at eighty five percent. Right? We can't stop at eighty five percent. Once you get it out and people start using it, that's just, that's, that's a step or two before the final place it needs to be because you're going to learn stuff. Right. And, and you'll also see competitors get into this paralysis of months of design and BA, business analysts and UI guys and all this kind of stuff. And, and by the time they get something out, it's, it's, it's this big, huge thing and it's way off. Yeah. And, and so what you need to try to do is run these small pieces out as quickly as possible so you get feedback. And that's this weekly releases, yep. this kind of shoot, see where I hit, move over, shoot again, move over. Um, and so super interesting that you were part of that. Yes. All right, so so we roll back. Well, and, and hang on, I'm going to throw out a bigger, a, another big monumental kind of significance. So this isn't just um, episode 100. For the, for the Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast. The 100. The Woo-hoo. 100. But <laughs> this, so you started in 2008. Um, and so you're officially at 15 years I'm with 15 Pioneer. 15 years, yes. Yes. And Which, it does not seem like it's been 15 years. So you're in, I think this was uh, Pioneer's 15th birthday. And it was Pioneer's 15th well. birthday this yeah. year too. Did you Who's start st- when you were 10? Uh, no, none of us started when we were <laughs> Yes, I did. Yes, yes. I did actually. actually. Yes, yes. yes, fresh out of high school. I was 18 <laughs> when I started Just running around to running around Pioneer and Diaper. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we probably have some developers that have <laughs> pretty been pretty close to that. Well, yeah. Jenny looked 10 when of, she started. Yes. And and you would love to every time we go to restaurants, it's like yes, in one child's menu, and it's just like don't do that to her. Come on, but then but then the restaurant would also do we need a children's menu? No, that really happened. Really yes. happened where Jenny Rowe, I was there when it we, happened. We all sat down and she asked. They asked if she needed a children's menu. 
Well, and probably at that early, you know, young 20s, whatever, it's like, yeah, yeah sure, I'll take the no, shit for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have. I remember we were at Six Flags or maybe Disney. I think it was it Six was, Flags. It was one of the theme parks. Yeah. And I actually asked the guy, I said, hey, could you check her height? <laughs> So you, so, so a while so, there, you were the tech support person. Right? Yep. Then you kind of became the tech support person of the stars. Yeah. Right? So if you were a really important pharmacy, yes. uh, Gina was your account manager. Yep. And, and I will say that I learned a lot from those pharmacies. We, we made a lot of, um, enhancements. Enhancements. Are you going to, are yep. you going to choose a favorite? Um, you know, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not. Um, I, I do yeah, have then people come out like, I thought I was your favorite pharmacy. I know. How yeah. dare you not mention it? And, and the truth is, is that make them, right, was, make them work harder. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And, and I don't want to seem like I'm not being uh, real here, but the truth is, is that every single one of those pharmacies that I had, I children. had a relationship with. Yeah. And no, yeah, you're right. It's like choosing from your children. And like a yeah. lot of these we've, we've talked to and we've formed relationships. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, but some so, were a little bit more reliant on me than others, but you know, that's, that's the service that you do. You, you help them better their business, right? Yep. <laughs> and so you've recently gotten kind of a promotion in a way. So what is your role now? Well, it's in not in a way it's a, yeah. it's a promotion. It's a promotion, but yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, um, I am now product management, um, over the pioneer product, um, and also, eventually, I believe um, we're talking about the Arcs local products, too. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I do think that in my 15 years, you know, that foundational, everything that I've learned up until this point, um, it it feels right. Mm -hmm. and, and I really enjoy it because that's the thing that I've always really liked is helping our pharmacies figure out you know, solutions for their problems, understanding yeah. their problem. Can we do it today? But also on this side now, yep. what can we do to make it better? Right. And really, I would say you did that some before, because I remember um, quite a few times where I've, somebody's given me something and I've been like, Gina, figure this out. Yeah. You know, figure out that the difference between somebody gives me a, the, I need a button right here that does blank. And I yep. would send it to Gina to say, figure out what they're trying to do. Yeah, you know, dig and into there's this. so much of that in support, you know, yep. and and that's where you know, whenever you know you were hiring new support people, is you know getting them to think in that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, they want this, but why do they want it? Yeah, what yeah. are they trying to do? And and the thing that some people struggle with, I would say, is just asking those questions and how to. Um, how to word it in such a way where it's like, well, why, why are you trying to do that? Like, yeah. you know, it's like, okay, interesting. What, show me what you're trying to do. And, um, I think that us using remote login and logging in that way and seeing them step by step, it mm -hmm. really, really helps with that. Right. So thank you, technology. <laughs> yeah. So what's a, what's a week like? So what's a, yeah. what's a, what's, what's a week what's, like now for you? Um, so my week now, um, you know, I went from a, um, a role where my day was driven by responding to tickets, right? So, yeah. and we missed know. their time. You were a supervisor, and you, you still had a few mm -hmm. accounts. Exactly. So they're in the middle of of only one of you. Yeah. You were helping more of you. <laughs> yes. And yeah. and and but still maintaining some customers and, right. yourself, right? Yep. Um, because and you had you were responsible for ten account managers, right? Also, because yeah. we time. strongly believe in working managers. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was probably still programming things up to a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, all right, keep going. Yeah. So, um, just working day to day, um, the way that my work has changed is the outside relationships with some of our vendors, you know, talking about integrations. Yep. What are mm -hmm. some things that we can add to the software to enhance and help our pharmacies? Right. Um, there's a lot of emails um, and really looking at our customer ideas, talking to people in support to get an idea of, you know, hey, what's something that's trending? What What's happening? Um, and, and taking all of that and then tying it back to, you know, we have some key themes of what we want to do mm -hmm. and and really seeing and, and making sure that we're aligned on all of those things is um pretty much my goal but I'm, I'm learning so much in this role too mm -hmm. um and josh has been really really great in in helping and you know we have other pms that are with um 
access and prime care. And, Mm -hmm. and so those are some, you know, I do lean on other PMs that have been in here for a while doing this, um, just to kind of help me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, and we do an idea portal yes, where customers put in ideas. Yeah. And, um, and we have somebody that monitors that idea portal to figure out if it's, well, that's, that's that's the somebody Yeah, right there. So, and, um, and also finding out if it's like a, a support issue, right. Training versus if it's an actual yep. idea and then yep. what, well, I think the, the account manager, if something comes in for a person's account, the account manager reviews that okay. to they make sure do. it's not something we do okay. already. Well, yeah. so, yeah, and the way that that works is, you know, it's based on the um, the volume and support. So um, if there's not calls waiting for a certain period of time, we'll send out an issue for the account mm-hmm. manager. So sometimes I do get those before they do. Um, okay. But there are times that, you know, I'll get a notification that something closed because the account manager viewed it and said, oh, we already have a way to do this. Right. Um, But um, to that, with the community ideas, a lot of what I do is, you know, going through and seeing who, how many customers are voting on this. So if you're a customer and you're watching, those votes do matter because we, we look at that. That's something that, you know, helps us identify the things that, you know, a lot of is our important to not need. just the one pharmacist yes. who put in the idea, but they're like, yeah, I need that too. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But but we're also looking. The, the primary piece of that isn't these huge things, and, and the voting is some of those huge things. Mm-hmm. A lot of things we're looking for are what we call easy high impact. Mm-hmm. There's something like we're like dunk, you yeah. know, because we're not standing there behind looking and behind everybody. We're like, oh yeah, that should do that. That makes how total easy sense. is that? Makes total sense. <laughs> yeah. It's something we can do that's you know four hours of programming and yes, and you knock that out. So and we get probably what would how many you would say we get seven eight a day? Is that um, ideas, yeah, mm-hmm. that would be correct, yeah. And we probably program a couple hundred a year, three hundred mm-hmm. maybe. Yep. Um, some of those maybe reports, et cetera. So yeah. So, so a big part of your job is going through those, figuring those out, right? Um, figuring out, trying to figure out if there's easy stuff we can do. Yes. And, you know, how many people are affected? You know, if we did this, how many people would it help? Is it going to help them make more money? And is it going to help them survive? Um. Is it easy to do? Right. You know, those kind of things. Yeah. So pretty interesting. I What I used to do sitting on my bed on Sundays. Yeah. Just going through those 20, you know. So you're doing my old job. Yeah. So and you're, I, you're I found a, you're myself. You're on a pretty good trajectory there. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> nice. Um, I learned computer programming. <laughs> um, and that's what I found myself doing that too. And I think that, and that's why I love doing this because it is so interesting to me. Um, I find myself on the weekends just, you know what, I wonder what. What, what are people saying, you know, yeah. and yeah. I go through those ideas and I'm just looking, you know, it's, it's very interesting to me. Yeah. And, and, and anybody <laughs> out there, um, what you didn't hear her just say is I think to get ahead in this job, I really need to spend some time on the weekend. <laughs> okay. And, and I always say that about, you know, the person, you know, who's, who's being, you know, who's thinking, oh, that person works a lot of hours because they're trying to get ahead. You know, your work is a symptom of your heart. And, and what you're hearing there is, is, is she loves what she's doing and therefore it's escaping into the other part well, of the world. And, she's and, and, and there are people who are very years. restricted, you know, somebody single parent with kids, young kids, you know, they may be working 39 hours, but they still can have heart. So, yeah. so, you know, the, it's just a symptom of uh, the very much so long hours are a symptom of loving what mm-hmm. you do. Yeah. Um, with me early on programming, it was a symptom of just like working on projects. I want to see it done. Yeah. You know, I programmed at two, three o'clock in the morning because I want to see this done yeah. and I want to see it in somebody's hands using that, that, that thrill of. I'm ready to see, see this thing actually come to life. Yeah. I bet there's 80,000 people who use our software on a day-to-day basis. And just the, mm-hmm. the impact that something simple could make in their life of something they're doing over and over and over again. Right. Is just, I mean, that's that's doing good. Um, you know, a lot of people don't have that kind of um, ability to affect the world. Yeah. Uh, so, and if you change somebody's health, yeah. You know, you figured out. You know, if you can figure out ways that, <laughs> um, you know, uh, patients' interactions are. You know, you get some interactions and you're lethargic, and it's all kinds of interesting things going on in the world of pharmacy today. Yeah. And, you know, that's a, that's a thing too, is that, you know, you're, 
I find myself looking at just day-to-day conversations like Dylan, who's uh, one of our audience members here, you know, his gluten allergy. I hope you don't mind me talking about that. But, you know, seeing the struggle that he has. No HIPAA violations yeah. here. I'm sitting there going. We can um, censor it out if we need to. We we'll have him sign something in a second. <laughs> oh, that's true. It can be. It's not live. It could be cut. <laughs> um, but, you know, like just seeing the struggle that he goes through every every day, this having to go eat out and, you know, grab something from a restaurant and, and the, the technology that's coming out for that. And one of the things that you had brought up at lunch yesterday was, you know, your doctor reached out to you about um, a drug trial, you know, and you potentially doing that, but you haven't had what you have for, you know, a year. And then it just got me thinking back, like the little device that you have, you know, how accessible is that for people that have gluten allergies, Mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, how accessible is it for people that have certain conditions that there are drug trials for, you know? Yeah. And yeah, it, it's something like, you know, if you don't feel good, nothing works. Right. Yeah. You know, you're talking about that was a Mavlov's triangle of needs or yes. whatever like that. If you oh, if you yeah. feel yeah. bad, you're you're not there are no needs below there. If you if yeah. you're not you're getting feeling. those things yeah. met, then you know, mm-hmm. you're just not doing good. But even that, if you hate if you're sitting on a piece of software and working all day and you hate it. <laughs> That's true. Right, and you're stressed and you're frustrated and nothing that can stress. make you yeah. love what you do. Yeah, or, you're that, I would say that's a pretty high you know, something you spend 40 hours a week sitting in front of is pretty high on your needs level yeah, for, for sure. stress and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Next marketing campaign, where does your software fall in, the- <laughs> in your, in your needs triangle? Yeah. Needs triangle. <laughs> Pioneer, what's, what's Pioneer. it, what's it, what is bad software blocking? I know that's what I missed. You know, I, I understand, Pioneers you know, at the top, we, we changed other. our, you know, to say revitalized pharmacy. Cause we really wanted to get closer to, um, what a mission, you know, we wanted right. to make a difference between just, you know, I was talking the other day about, um, in CPA, we're going to be at and how people are going to have booths. And uh, somebody asked, well, why are we going to have a catalyst booth? You know, it's because we want to show that we're more interested in pharmacy than just selling software. Right. You know, we're really interested in now you can say that's selfish because we, we totally get that if we, our customers aren't successful, we're not. We love talking to our pharmacies and, you know, standing outside of the Pioneer booth in the Catalyst podcast booth is, you know, people want to come and ask questions that maybe use Pioneer that they're not interested in a demo. So, so they're having, right. they have the questions that would go into the portal. So I understand why we did the Save and Revitalize Pharmacy, you know, uh, and, yeah. I, and I, and I saw an install the other day with that on his shirt and I was like, yes, I love that. But I do miss the make more money, have more fun. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing we did not talk about yet. Like, that, yeah, is, that, that was wrong. We started off. <laughs> that was, what's this about? Making more money and having more fun. fun. It is to the right? point. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so I don't know if we, we have to, still, we have to like tagline, it's, you know, it's say revival as independent pharmacy, i.e. make more money, have more fun. If you're out of business, you're not having fun. I don't, I don't know. Bringing it back. I mean, <laughs> Do we still have that poster? I'm sure we still have that poster somewhere. I think I, I, I think I saved one of the booth graphics, which was a curtain that Velcroed to the back of the mm-hmm. TVs that I think I, I saved one. Yeah. Because yep. I was I was wanting to hang it up in the warehouse because there's like these fifty feet tall, we, and, and we were ahead. What are millennials coming out thinking now? Make more money, have more fun, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just so not. True. Maybe they're not willing to do the part to make the money, the work to make the. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I apologize to millennials in general. <laughs> um, so, any any thoughts in closing? I think we're yeah. we're headed toward the time here. We've headed towards our time. I so, would say, Gina, say you you felt like a rock star. I'd say you are a rock star. Well, thank you. One of our rock stars here at Pioneer. Yeah, thank and you. And you're going to be joining us at NCPA this October. I am. I'm really but you excited. you will be in the Pioneer X booth. Yes. Yep. So yes. if you want to see Gina and say hi, if you enjoyed this episode, stop by our booth at NCPA, Pioneer X booth, or come by and see Jeff and I, and Will's going to be in the Catalyst booth. For a period of time, he's mm-hmm. going to be back and yep. forth between Pioneer and Catalyst. Francis starting a and new, Francis, uh, well, a continuation of a long-term care podcast called X Files. It's going to be becoming Amplify which is, LTC. Is becoming Amplify LTC. Uh, so uh, she'll be there to meet. And, and then uh, we're starting a new podcast, uh, which Mark Bivens will be the host of, which is going to be RX Local, which is really going to be more helping pharmacies talk to the patients. Yeah. So that'll be a fun one. Yes, absolutely. Little like patient care Sad. tips. And We're like all thing. rock stars. Yes. Yes. We're on a pink 
check. 100 so episodes. Yeah. Congratulations so to you wow. guys. I'm still yes. a rock star. It's and awesome. Pink is, um, pink is we're going to pink concert September, not too long ago. So. Did y'all see where she had her daughter on the stage? Um, she periodically does that since doing the song with her daughter years ago. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. so maybe y'all will get lucky. Yeah, I'm super excited. So far, oh. the best concert I've ever been. Kelly Clarkson. No, the Bieber. You're Justin still stuck Bieber. on the Bieber. I, it's still the best, I think. I've seen some stuff still the best. Was it just because of the trampoline in the air? I don't know. The trampolines was and it the just transparent the LEDs I think and the it was dancing. The vibe. And I think it, I think, I think it could also it have been low expectations. The, really low expectations. <laughs> you, I, you know, because it's like, yeah, when, it's okay. When, yeah, when, it was slow expectations yeah, it was like, and stuff. We were but. in Florida for, a, I think, Florida Pharmacy Association. And we were looking at, you know, what are things doing? He's like, Justin Bieber. And it's like, we can go and just tell nobody we win. Yeah, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I guess I violated that. I'm not very good at secrets. I violated that. Like, you know, it could be good. It could be bad. We're going to go. We're just not going to tell anybody we ever went to see Justin Bieber. And then it's like, it's the best concert ever. Yeah, hey, I was like, how do you not say that? We, how do you not say this is the best concert ever? Because I I think we've seen some others. And I think Pink is going to blow that out yeah, of the I think, water. Yeah, I think Pink has that. I think Pink yes. has the opportunity to do um, that. But I, I... Oh, we've seen some good concerts. We saw Kelly, Kelly Clarkson was Kelly really Clarkson good and kind of raw. Is, like, now um, it's like I listen to Kelly Clarkson on Spotify or... Yeah, or Apple, and I'm just like, oh, she's so amazing. Yeah, and if you're in live. Vegas, go see her concert. You know, the concert you not ever super get a chance expensive. to see Kelly Clarkson I want to live. She, she was um, at ABC one year. She was ABC she one was, year. Yep. Yeah, and I got yep. to see her there. But she adjusts like her concert's different every night. It's yes. not a one set list. It's amazing. They she changes the songs. They oh, have yeah, she a, took they have a, purpose in their order. Yep. They have so um cool. and, and they they rehearse it that she's day. She's like, okay, it's so just, this next song, um, it's depressing. You're welcome. Yeah. But, so what is it? The vulnerability? You think? Yeah, that? I think it is yeah, the vulnerability. It is. Yeah. Uh, That's but what just connects that, her. That it, it's kind of like you know if you were in it, it kind of like I felt like the the time we saw um, Boys the Men where you just felt like you were in their dorm. And yeah. you're just singing some songs. Yeah. So you just really like, hey, we'll do this next. You know, mm -hmm. you really felt mm -hmm. like with her. And they call that um, Kim, uh, Intimate Evening okay. with Kelly Clarkson. Yes. And and uh, it was interesting, you know, that people hold up a sign and she's, yeah, we're going to sing that, but not tonight. <laughs> you, you know, and, and so it's almost like, hey, I should come back tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was good. Just good in a different way. Saw Keith Urban recently, and that was good in a different way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do y'all um, have Billie Eilish on your Kind of raw. No, no not, not yet. Okay. But well, are you a Billie Eilish fan? I think she's just really big right now, right? So, you know. And Super interesting person. Yeah. Oh. She is so young. Yeah. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we are at time. All right. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having for me. Being yeah, so no, it's good. Yes. To come and join us actually in the studio. I know. In enjoyed visiting with you and, and looking forward to your next 15 years with 15 years Pioneer more. X and Red Cell. And yeah. we'll, we'll revisit this episode more again wrinkles when we hit hair there. Yeah. another mm -hmm. significance. <laughs> Just cut out my uh, commentary yep. for free. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching the Catalyst Pharmacy Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, subscribe, and follow us wherever you get your podcast. Give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts to help us reach more pharmacy professionals like you.